Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the information that you require is also listed below in the show more section, list of prices, services, as well as my email. Otherwise, this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe if you enjoy this content. Let's jump into it, Cancer. Okay, let's start off with the Ten of Swords. Now, this could be air energy and air sign coming through. Gemini, Libra, you also have an Aquarius present in your reading. Uh, and I feel like there's a shift occurring with this person, potentially. Um, look, it's for the better, okay? Uh, getting rid of toxic energy, getting rid of unhealthy thought patterns, coming out of the darkness and into the light, okay? So it's quite an inspirational card, the Ten of Swords. I mean, it can sometimes point to a betrayal or pain that's inflicted. Now, if it's not an air sign you're dealing with, it might be someone's words, uh, the way in which they communicate, which can be a little bit conflicting or misconstrued as, or, or seen as miscommunication here. This could also be your mental thought pattern here as well, Cancer. I feel like there is a bit of an ending happening for some of you towards the beginning of November. Change of job, change of relationship. Um, new exotic lands that loom, an old way of life dying, okay, self-sabotage or self-critical energy. I feel you're clearing out a lot. You're clearing out a lot of mental space here and finally having a lot more clarity uh, and seeing the light, okay, becoming more optimistic with something or seeing the good. More so than dwelling on the bad, you're really seeing the good in a certain situation here. But the number 10 comes down to the number one, which I feel definitely points to new beginnings, at least on some level. Um, but some of you, it could also be that you're reliving the pain or the hurt. You're reliving something potentially in the beginning of November. Now, it's interesting that the two of wands faces the 10 of swords. The two of wands can be seen as indecisiveness. It might be seen as a bit of a selection process. Um, it can definitely symbolize relocation, uh, a destined move, a destined trip, um, a decision that right now you could be at a bit of a fork in the road, but the decision that you make is actually a destined one and will take you towards your destiny in some way here. Uh, but you've got the world in your hands. Now this might be a fire sign around you as well, a Sagittarius and Aries or a Leo who's potentially in two minds about a situation. Or it could be the formation of an online relationship or a long distance connection that starts to be formed. Potentially there's a bit of back and forth for you this month in November, hence the two. Um, so creating a base for yourself but adding something else in addition to your base. Maybe a second franchise, a second business, um, a second love interest. Suddenly you're greeted with the, with, with the option of choice. You've got that comfort or that luxury. But you could also be deciding on a few things. And it's like, where do you go from here? Where do you go next? And maybe it is in regards to what's happening earlier, uh, what's happening early this month or what happened, what has happened earlier in the recent months or weeks even. Because let's not forget, you've got the hangman here as well. Now, something might be held in suspense a little bit. Um, cancer, if you're waiting for news, if you're waiting for someone to reach out, uh, if you're waiting to implement something, there could be some sort of delay and things will be turned upside down, perhaps maybe towards the middle of the month and then you might see things come back around, come full circle. You're just going to have to ride with it. But I think there's definitely parts throughout the month where you're either remembering something, uh, something painful, something emotional. Uh, something that hasn't gone your way, something that has been delayed. And it might be getting you down a little bit here. But look, the hangman isn't always bad because I feel like he can turn his situation around. I love that he has this inspirational halo around him because it shows innovation, creation. Um, and, and in this particular deck, it's seen as, as um, almost like martyrdom, like he's a saint. 
Um, he's got that halo around him. But it can be consequences. It, it can be you punishing someone, maybe giving them the silent treatment, maybe this person giving you the silent treatment. And you might feel these things throughout, throughout the month. But sometimes we need a different perspective. Sometimes we need to be introverted, upside down, taken out of the norm, because that is when we filter through what we really want. So for some of you, I feel like this is a situation of, or a case of, this is a blessing in disguise. Because you are the cups here, the seven of cups, and you're in a new creation process. Whatever has happened to you up to this point in Cancer, it's allowing you to create or experience more into your life or something different. As much of the Seven of Cups can be seen as scattered energy, emotional turmoil, um, emotions up in the air, lack of closure or understanding, it's also manifestation, the silhouetted figure. You know, the person isn't at the primary object here it's it's these cups that emerge from the clouds that are dreamlike you know that they're, they're uh, manifestations of your wishes so I feel like there's new goals or new um, ventures that you're orientating towards that you're orbiting towards and I think this is the creation of new goals and I do want to say that whatever has happened however it's happened it, it really is a blessing in disguise because the star card is going to open up and pave way for your destiny in, in a major way. Okay, now this could be an Aquarius coming in. This could be a destined soulmate. But look at the column it's in. You, you're going to have the choice to pursue your destiny or not. I think on some level, you know that this person is made for you or that job is made for you or fame is made for you you to be a storyteller, um, you to have this level of success, you to have this spiritual path, this internal transformation, whatever it is that you're encountering. And let's look at that for a moment. The star card is represented as the uh, the water bearer. And the water is all about, it's, it's ritualistic, it's purification, it's cleansing, it's filtration. It's ebb and flow. So motion, things are still going into motion. The world hasn't stopped because what has happened. Your life hasn't stopped because of what has happened. In fact, you are being guided by the light. The stars are aligning for you, Cancer. Now, this could be that you find astrological compatibility with someone. This could be that an online connection takes form. This could be your avenue to fame. The star card is public knowledge, it's public awareness, it's star quality. You might be producing something that is star quality. You might be recognized for your talents. So you have to take the bad with the good, the good with the bad, he cancer. So as much as there might be a few things, a few hiccups throughout the month, there, there are positive things, destined things, adventurous things that could override those other energies but you have to see it you have to be guided by it but the star card could also be an increased um, interest in spirituality in astrology in the stars the gods the angels the universe law of attraction karma metaphysics all of these things could be coming into play here with the star card but the, the star also represents the sign of Aquarius, and this is a lot of confidence. Aquarians tend to be very confident signs. They're straight shooters, um, and they do have that air of confidence about them, knowledge. They don't really take that time to second guess themselves. And maybe that two of ones is showing that there's, a, there's something here that you're second guessing or you're not sure of. And it's almost like you need to go in with it, you go, go into it with confidence, Cancer. And then you have that Five of Cups to wrap up November. More water energy, okay? Could be you, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, five of Cups can be seen as a grieving card, a card of loss, a card of a situation falling apart and us really dwelling on that situation. So it might be that memories are being brought back to you. It could be the past water under a bridge here. Um, 
but you've got people behind you okay there's two cups behind you so it's either a new twin flame union so not all hope is lost in a situation you do have resources or second chances giving second chances receiving second chances healing from second chances healing to allow second chances the star card can absolutely be healing a second attempt at something at a business launch at a relationship a creation of success on a creative project it could be a plethora of things that you're having a second second attempt but the opportunity is there the resources is there the time is there the energy so if you're wanting second chances it's absolutely possible for that to come to fruition if you're wanting someone to give you a second chance that's absolutely possible a second interview a second chance to prove yourself a second chance at a first impression you know we underestimate how special second chances are you know sometimes we don't get it right the first time sometimes it takes us the second time or even the third time cancer um, an interesting reading but I will leave it at that 